Porsche, I'm in the Land Rover, driving back. And uh, this is my picture I can see at the moment. Uh, doing about 35 miles an hour, John's behind me. Uh, can't get too fast, so I've got to make a turn in shortly, but uh, generally speaking, uh, here we go. Um, quite a high engine speed, the engine's not the brilliant uh, thing. It's a uh, good engine, but uh, it's not pulling very well. But a good service to sort that out, hopefully. But there you go, folks. This is the view I've got from my, uh, oh, my little tinker. Cheers. Right. This is uh, what I went to Scotland for. Uh, a bit windy. I'll try and shield it. I have polished, polished the bonnet, actually, to see how it looked. But uh, as you can see, long wheelbase. This is the short wheelbase. which is for sale, and then, which is this one here. Top of the wings have gone, which uh, is understandable, uh, really. I've got to sort these keys out, because I think there's a key for every door, but generally speaking, uh, even though you can see me in here. Uh, just the wing top's gone, the door top, sorry, which I've ordered too. Um, generally speaking, it's not too bad. Little bits of rust here and there. Um, but I can change some of these nuts and bolts for stainless. Needs a bit of a clean on the inside. Uh, but fairly clean and tidy. Uh, I've got no complaints whatsoever. Um, quite tidy in the back. I'm uh, changing the tyres and wheels at the moment. I will be going back to a 750-16, but I'm putting these on as a temp at the moment, picking a, two, a couple of spares up tomorrow, so I've got them. And uh, this is the interior. It even has a radio fitted with a 6 CD changer. Uh, reasonable seats. And there's a CD changer in the back. Kinky or what? Not that you can hear the damn thing when you're doing about 50, but uh, <coughs> a few seats to sort out and a bit of a tidy up. But it's been kept very tidy from uh, the previous owner, Mr. Martin. Um, so lots of little fiddly bits to do, but uh, I'm quite happy to do those. As you say, it's going to be called Tinker, because I dare I'll be tinkering with it quite a bit. Uh, I'm going to redo the instrument panel a little so, a tiny bit, because there's no lights in there, I don't know why. That was a frustration driving in the dark. But very clean and tidy. There's just little bits of usual rust. It's had a spare plate put in the base there. Uh, quite a bit of rust over in this corner here, which I shall attack. I've got some paint coming and some other new bits and pieces. With the 2.6, of course, it's uh, a very um, narrow this section here because uh, I'm trying to get a overdrive in, and it's a bit tight, but it does go. And uh, but I'd like to sort of get this out and clean and tidy it and uh, paint it a bit. But generally speaking, it's uh, in good condition for a 36-year-old vehicle. So there we go. Cheers. There you go. So I've lost the petrol cap. And uh, <coughs> a little bit of a story about that. The little tiny chain that hangs, anchors it to there is in the spare bo bit box that he gave me, which is quite funny. Um, I've ordered a step for the back uh, to go off of the tow bar, but uh, I think it just, uh, it was only parked on uh, the island at, um, near South Carn, uh, Luang or Ling or something, but uh, salt air, salt sea, you know, whatever, it sounds double wires. Um so superficial rusts everywhere. But uh, generally speaking, I'm going to give it a cut and polish over the next few days, tidy it all up, see how we go, and uh, see how the uh, jobs progress over the next uh, few weeks and few months. Cheers, folks. A bit choky at the moment, but uh, there you go, it's running. Uh, it's a six cylinder. Not going to show it back a bit. Anyway, there 
there you go. That's the toughest need there in, bits and bobs, but like I say, hey ho, 36 year old vehicle, can't argue. Anyway, cheers folks. Right, it's very windy. Um, there's the tyres put on. Um, I'm not sure, oops, I'm not sure, sure whether, well, but what I've got, so that's what's going on. Uh, I think it's, it's about an inch, inch or so lower, but that ain't a bad thing. I have to step up. Um, but there you go. I'm gonna try and get a bit of cut and polishing done because um, it is looking a bit, uh, a bit drab. I'll just have the seat. Uh, sorry about the rear step come for the back, but uh, found it uh, polished up pretty good. You should be able to see that. So uh, yeah, I'll just try and get a bit of polish on it, and uh, my door top should be coming in the next couple of days clean and spray it up and get the glass in them and get them on as well. I don't think with the uh, galvanising trim I've got oh, one piece to replace which I can do. I think it's the driver's side but I'm still looking for the other piece and the pieces I've got of mine haven't been galvanised yet so hey ho, uh, carry on and uh, see how we go from there. Cheers folks. Well, I've, uh, you can see the bits hopefully I've done. Not the best, um, but it just takes a bit of the road film off and uh, the muck. I've still got the front uh, flaps to do. I'll try and get them done now before I finish, and that's a little bit of the front end done. As you can see, it uh, well, looks like a new vehicle. Uh, but uh, there you go. Cheap chops, and uh, catch you all later. Cheers.